Hello again, this is the PC Dude, and today I'm going to show you how to join EXEs. There are a lot of programs on the internet that do this, but usually they make antiviruses go crazy because they detect the signatures it can leave in the EXEs. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it in a way that, an EX that it won't be detected. So these are the two, pro two programs I'm joining, Calculator and Notepad, very simple. But for example, you can replace these with anything you like. For example, a cool game, and then maybe a Trojan. I'm not endorsing that. And we're going to be using ResHack, Resource Hacker, you can Google it up and download it, and a program that comes with Windows. So first step is prepare all your files, we've done that. Start, run, and iExpress. <coughs> we're going to create a new self-extraction directive file, press next, and extract files and run an installation command. Basically all it does is extracts it and then runs it. So that's what we want. Next. Now this is the package title. You could leave it blank or you could type in something, for example, cool game or whatever you like. Depends on what you're joining. And here is the and this is where we get try to get, make it stealthy. This is asks like makes a prompt. We don't want a prompt. We don't want to show a license. We don't want to make it look like an installation basically. So here are the package files. These are the files that we're joining. So we're gonna navigate to wherever you have the files. And here are my two files. Press open. And you have the two files. Or it could be more if you want. And press next. This is the and then you have two things, install program and post install pro command. This is which one you want to run first. For example, we would run the cool game or whatever, but I'm gonna run calculator first. And then here we would put the Trojan maybe to run after we after you close this program. So usually most Trojans don't even make a don't even make a sign. They just quickly run and that's it. So that they wouldn't notice. Press next. And this is how the window will be displayed. Default would be good. It's, good. it's just gonna show the programs that way. You could have it maximized, minimized, hidden. And you don't want a finished message. You want to make it look as if he's just running a program. So press next. And this is the target name of the package. So that would put it in I'll just put it in the same folder. And let's make it cool game or whatever. Save. And here we have hide file extracting process animation from user. Yeah, because again we want to make it look as if it's just a normal exe. And that's optional and you don't really need it. Next. And then if you then also it, this is a choice if you want to restart the computer. Just make it no restart. And here if you want you could save this package so you can edit it later or etc. Ah, I'm not gonna save it. And press next. And then uh command prompt opens and it makes the you know, win thirty two cabinet self extractor. Now that may look suspicious, but this is where editing comes in. <coughs> We're gonna open a res hacker, resource hacker. and open that file. Here we have an icon. As you can see, these are the two icons. Now we want to replace this icon because it looks very conspicuous, doesn't it? So, for example, let's open Resource Hacker again. Actually, alright, I haven't done this in a while, so. Right click and replace resource. And here, open file with new icon. This makes it really easy. And for example, let's make it the calculator icon. So here we are. And you can just press replace. Check that out. Now it'll look like a calculator. So press file, save. And to refresh it, oh, it should be refreshed. Here we are. And it also, as you noticed, there is a Win32 cabinet self extractor that looks conspicuous so you could try to use a hex editor or some other programs to get that out I, um, maybe even rest hacker can get it out let me try and you can look at the string tables um, as you can see that has some error messages
Well, you could look around and try to find it. Y'all, yeah, here's a dialogue. Oh, see that? That's like the license if you want it. it change all that. Version info. That's that, this is very useful sometimes. Oh, here we are. I think this might be it. Company name: Microsoft Corporation. The PC dudes work. Uh, and here we are. File description. Change it, whatever you like. This will be super cool game. And for some strange reason, there's no quotation at the end, so let's just leave it that way. And uh, you can keep keep you know changing it. Compile script. Done. File. Save. That's done. Hmm. Apparently, it didn't work. Maybe you do need that. Maybe you do need that quotation at the end. But anyway, so Res Hacker is a really cool program. Try it out. And that's how to. Oh, oh! I just forgot to refresh it. <laughs> See, and this is how you could maybe upload a Trojan to your friends, but don't do anything mean, you know, just play around with the mouse and then tell them, ha ha, I can delete it for you. So that was how to join EXEs. Um, I'm going to try to make a new tutorial sometime. Bye.